Hello there and welcome back to the channel folks. I'm your host, Chu. if you don't remember, and today we are back with a old game. This is Supreme Commander Forged Alliance, or more appropriately, it is the community-driven multiplayer aspect of it, Forged Alliance Forever, and today we're doing a series of just kind of a one-off cast, I suppose, for now, at the very least, where, well, we, we take a look at, uh, well, some of the the games that I've been playing in my limited time um, off doing real life stuff pretty much. So today we are casting a series of three v th or two or one v ones in a set of three games. Uh, I am playing UEF on game number one, the blue uh, UEF faction over here, and my opponent being. T starting up inside the corner here on uh, you know kind of like red units on on red map over here, uh, playing as the Aeon Illuminate. So uh, for for those who are a little bit unfamiliar with the Supreme Commander games, these are I, I would say like extra large sized RTSs. It's about building lots of units, smashing them up together, and it's really it's really not a not a mechanical heavy game or mechanics heavy game I should say something like StarCraft II, but something um, I would say that honestly focuses more on the bigger picture, the actual strategy behind things. So, uh, playing as UEF, bottom corner here, what we have done is that we've started out with a simple land factory producing engineers and um, a light raiding party, which has already caught off two of, uh, or rather, the enemy's raiding party here. Going up for, for a quick scout of what exactly my enemy is doing. Didn't expect to find their commander up here, so he gets a nice easy kill on two of my very very brittle raiding units, but that is fine because we're scouting the bottom and we are taking a good look around this map, seeing just in general, you know, what type of plays my opponent is making, trying to get those early engineer picks off. So transitioning into into kind of the game proper, we go air factory after a land factory, and we plan on building hopefully some more raiding units to to, to really kind of get map control over this middle area of the map. So I'll speed the game up here, and we shall see what happens next. I'm giving you guys a brief rundown of the factions here, playing as UEF in the bottom. Uh, once again, blue faction. UEF is a, just an overall strong faction, very solid units, lots of hit points, very, very well balanced, kind of jack of all trades units. Whereas uh, with the Aeon units here, the, the unique thing about them that kind of uh, highlights their their units in general is their tech one light tank here the aurora has about half the hit points of any other tank though it has higher range and a much faster speed uh, therefore it makes it very very capable kiting unit though not necessarily what you'd uh, expect from a central kind of core fighting unit uh, there so we begin by building a couple of marines putting them on a on a, on a transport making what's kind of called a, gu a ghetto gunship. So this is in reality one transport with a, with three light marines on and the benefit of this is that if you can't make a, te uh, a, a gunship from uh, well early game your next best thing is one of these things because the individual little marines there can fire down on targets as if it is a gunship hence aptly named. So a uh, good thing about this is that we can get some scouting done with, uh, well I suppose the spy chopper does it where the, the, the air scout does that as well, but uh, overall I'm going to press in here, I'm going to take a look. I do hover this unnecessarily uh, on the ground for some time, but I see the bombers, I see what's going on here, and uh, well my opponent gets a nasty drop filled with artillery uh, pieces in the back of my base, dealing some serious damage to my, uh, my, my original land factory. But that's all right. We have counters. We have planes from uh, scouting earlier, and these two will make fast work of anything down there. In the meantime, I tried to skirmish off with a couple of units. A couple uh, were. I tried to take down the power plant mainly in my opponent's uh, main little installation there, for lack of a better term. And unfortunately, it does not work out. Bad thing about those gunships is that you can't target. You can only choose roughly based upon how far the marines can shoot and kind of gauge uh, your things off from there. So, come off of that engagement, I'd say 
I don't know, slightly ahead in terms of map control, slightly behind in terms of unit production. Uh, the good thing is that my opponent here is spending lots of tech into uh, into their own interceptors and a few a AA guns, so they're in no position to push. So, um, typically, I mean, inside this game, I found two general strategies that most people do. They either stick in their main, kind of produce from there and try to defend whatever they have, um, apart from apart from their main base by sending units out and forward but instead uh the other alternative to that to to some extent i suppose is to kind of march your commander up into the middle of the map up, up into some some kind of like strategical point and try to hunker down right there and i chose the uh, the latter out the two so i'm pressing up here i believe at this point i have a radar dish set up which is feeding me information about let me see if i can do my view. It's feeding me information about everything inside that zone. I see that he has, uh, yeah, a couple of points up here capped off, mass points, important resource capped off. So I go and press for that. Don't see any units inside this range, which is awfully suspicious, seeing as how this radar barely borders their their production facilities over there. So I decide to push my guys up and to grab a little bit of a scout, uh, or a little bit of rating up towards the forward mass point and stuff down here. So what surprises me is that there's actually no capped points here inside the bottom of the map, though there are a couple of units uh, centered around that engineer. I decided to pull back, and to my surprise, the enemy's commander is waiting up here. It looks like we have found the mystery uh, engineer constructing all of these mass reactors. So. Um, that said, and all, I see that their armies are out of position. They are nowhere near their commander. I'm bowling up my guys, and again, they have fragile units. I do not, so I think that so long as I make a solid push upwards here, this will be a quick game. Let's see the result of that. Under right, so uh, the rules of the game are for, for winning, as you might imagine, you can kind of take out all of your opponents' bases and units and the such, or alternatively you can strike them in the head and under, under kill attack. their commander. Try to focus fire on my, uh, my dudes on his guy. And the best thing when this happens is the big boom that happens near the end. So, there you go, that is game number one of, well, three. So, I'll see you guys in the second game shortly.